Well, welcome to Vegas. How are you feeling this week? I'm feeling great. Um, the preparation was awesome. Um, and just being at the Apex is just, it's awesome. But like a year ago, I was here as a fan. So now to be here fight as a competitor, it feels awesome. What fight were you watching a year ago? Man, uh, I was here for the Drew Dober and Terrence fight. And I remember after his fight, I kind of got too excited. I think we ended up leaving early that time just to catch him. And yeah, man, just seeing him perform here uh, just gave me more motivation to keep chasing. And uh, I got my opportunity. And you've got back-to-back -back wins. Do you feel kind of comfortable in there yet? Or is there always going to be a sense of, of like, I don't want to say pressure, but is there always going to be a little bit of unease in there? Because yeah, the yeah, for sure. There's always pressure, you know. Like, um, you know, I'm fighting for more than just myself. I'm fighting for a, a lot of other people back home and my team, uh, my corner. So I just feel like um, I obviously, like, I, I feel a little bit, like, uh, nervous at, at first. But then once the, I see the curtain and once it opens, it all shuts off and I'm just ready to go. Um, after my last fight, fighting in enemy territory with Jack, um, getting booed by, what, 60,000 people, I, just, I felt like after that and performing, I, I kind of felt like I shook all that off. Do you kind of like that a little bit, like the, the booing, and like does it give you a little bit of extra motivation when you have people kind of rooting against you? Yeah, uh, it, it does. Uh, um, for some reason, it triggers something. It's like, oh, we're here for business. Uh, like, oh, you're going to boo me? Oh, you're going you're gonna to end up from booing me, you're going to be cheering me on, watch. So going from that now to the apex where there won't be people, there might still be people booing you, um, yeah. but yeah. how have you prepared for um, how different that might feel in there? Yeah, for sure. I, I'm always A, you know, I, A game. I always want to fight. I love fighting. You know, I, it don't matter. We, it could just be me and him in the room, you know, and just cameras going around. It don't matter. I'm just I'm down to scrap. You know, I feel like um, it's going to be I'm going to fight. Uh, the better version of him and my, uh, myself is going to be able to perform because we get to hear our corners. So it's good. It just it makes the, you know, it makes it more exciting. It's like, oh, it's more quiet. Oh, um, the fans have to pay extra to be here, you know. And so I feel like once I ha do this, perform, fight, I, I hope that I get to get in a bigger crowd later on. What do you think of your opponent? Uh, he's good. Uh, he's got a lot of experience. You know, um, I obviously said yes because I like saying yes to the guys that are tough. You know, he's got a lot of experience. Uh, he's fought in some promotions I fought, but I just feel like he hasn't fought anybody like me. What kind of fight are you expecting from him? Uh, calm, trying to be sharp. Um, I think he's going to try to counter fight. You know, he's going to wait a little bit. I see that he, he's a pocket puncher. He likes to put his hands down and throw punches. But I feel like um, I'm just going to expose his style like everybody else. Do you feel like this fight might go the full rounds, or are you expecting to get in and out of there pretty quick with him? Nah, I'm trying to go get in there, get out, you know. Um, it would be cool, like, if he survives or I survive or however it goes. It would be, uh, be probably fight of the night for sure, another fight of the year. You know, I always try to perform, try to do the best, but – trying to get him out in the first. Have you um, allowed yourself a little bit of um, looking forward, looking at 2024 and some goals for you for the year, or are you just solely focused on this fight? Well, obviously a lot more focused on this fight, get this one done, but I, I want to do, I just want to be a consistent fighter for them. You know, I want to keep showing up. If I could fight, you know, every two months, three months, and if I'm good, like, let's go. Thank you. Hey, Jeff Ace. Um, so you banged out three, two fights in three months, um, and then you take a, like an eight-month layoff. Were you just looking for a fight, or was that just to kind of let the body rest and, and, and heal? Nah, nah, I was ready to go, man. I was like, oh, this is, this is awesome. I got chills after my win, and I was just like, oh, this is the beginning. Like, oh, this is, this is awesome. At, at 31, I'm, I'm where I want to be. I feel like I'm mature to make the right decisions as well. So I feel like, man, just um, – I was letting my manager know, the matchmakers know, like, hey, man, anybody, let's let's go. You know, I got a lot of no's. A lot of people I even try to step in for, and there was no's. So I'm like, all right, well, we'll see. And then this opportunity came, obviously, another sh a short notice. And I was like, all right, let's go. Um, I obviously told them I'm ready, and I'm ready to go. Does it make the short notice opportunity easier because you were already in shape, ready to go? Yeah, uh, well, I stay ready. You know, I, I'm trying to stay even more readier 
more ready than I've ever been. You know, I'm, now I'm in the big show. I'm trying to be, do, make right decisions, do the right things. And yeah, man, just really come and show everybody who I am. I wanted to ask you, so, you know, you put work out. You, you grinded on the regional scene. You, you, you won big fights, you lost big fights. Um, you fought everybody, right? So you earned your way to the UFC. But when you see guys that are like, Five and zero, or maybe like, you know, eighteen and three, but they fought nobody on 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 the regional scene. But you fought everybody on the regional. Like, does it kind of annoy you that it took you so long, or like, like, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, man, I just I th I take it like Mortal Kombat, man. You know, you got some characters who are good, some are great. You're like, oh, this one actually is the best one. So I look at I look at it as that. You know, you get, um, this promotion's got to keep their fights going. So obviously they're trying to find the best talent, the best guys. You know, and obviously. You have, as a fighter, you have to show out when you go out there. And sometimes uh, the promotion does not bring out, bring in guys like you who have grinded on, on, on the regional scene. Um, was there ever, you know, when you were when you were out there fighting everybody, was there ever a thought in your head like uh, maybe I'm not going to make it to the UFC, or like did you know you at some point you were going to make the walk? Man, what's crazy is. Um I even told my partner, I was like, man, at 30, if I'm not at the UFC, because I fought all these monsters. If you can see my resume, I was like, man, after, after 30, I got to go probably do something else, be a coach, maybe help others be, uh, become that fighter that I wasn't, you know, like, or something. But then I was like, you know what? Something's telling me to stay in it. You know, like I, uh, I lost my mother to breast, breast cancer a year ago, and she was one person who said, stay in it. Even when I lost, she was like, oh, it's okay, shake it out, go back to the gym, fix your things, and then back to work, you know? And, and I just felt like those words have always stuck with me. And, it, and yeah, man, just, just doing what I gotta do to uh, perform, obviously, and then something, you know, kind of clicked, you know, it let me in, you know? And then I got the short notice call with Peak, and I was like, let's go. What's it like sparring uh, Justin Gaethje? Oh, it's crazy, man. It's like a, it's a highlight in there, man. I'm surprised there's no more, uh, like, cameras in there and all, you know, like me and him be doing crazy stuff to each other. Um, I would, I would, like, I'm not big on posting all that stuff, you know. I don't, like, and that's the thing. Like, guys like to post practice stuff. Like, anybody could win in practice. Anybody could look good on the mitts, you know. It's like, how can you, like, can you perform? Can you fight? Can you actually be a fighter? And that, uh, I feel like seeing him and then, you know, in the room and then him performing, I was like, I could do exactly the same thing or better. Obviously, you're going to back your guy, but how do you see Justin versus Max next week? Yeah, it's going to be a good fight. I, I obviously want, you know, everybody loves Max. You know, I, I fell in love with Max with his, study, uh, with his style, his, you know, his velo velocity, his, you know, his confidence. Uh, so I was like, oh, okay, this is, and, but that was a dude I had dreams of fighting and beating. You know, I had a, I had a dream. I dropped him with a body shot and won the UFC title. So I was like, damn, I was like, I was like all right, I got to stay in this, right? So, but then I, and then I, you meet Justin Gaethje, you know, like me and him at first, we were kind of like head on head going against each other a little bit. And then we grew a, gr a good friendship where I seen more of just the highlight, you know, more of Gaethje, the, guy, the outside guy, where he gave me more, you know, more um, advice than any other fighter, you know, like how, like how is it to be in the big show or fight, you know, main event or be the BMF title holder, you know, and I, and just knowing him even more, I'm like, man, this guy is going to wreck Max for sure. 